last speaker is Professor Lian. The title of his talk is Liver Resident NK Cells Suppress Autoimmune Cholangitis and Limit Proliferation CD4 T cells. Please. The, thanks very much for the uh, invitation. Also, very thanks for the chairs uh, introduced. So, everyone here very know about the uh, PVC. So today I talk topic in the in here is for liver region NK cells immunologic the the function in the PVC. So here very well known that in the liver they have a lot of uh, immune cells, including the innate and adaptive immune cell. There, there has a kufr, also have the T cell, also the NK cells. So PBC, there is very well known, I believe in the everyone here, yeah, more than 90% patient in the CIRA can detect very high levels of the AMA and IgM also that's the TH1 disease, the interfering gamma, and alpha. And the histology, that's the major portal inflammation and the destruction of the uh, small uh, intrahepatic bile ducts and the cell immunology. They have a lot of CD4, CD8 T cells, also include the B macrophage and a lot of the inflammation in the liver. So this is the uh, clinical stage one, two, three, four. So due to this disease, very chronic, very long history. So when patients come to the hospital, the most patients are the, the late stage. So right now, we did, uh, didn't know about some of the much early stage PVC immunologic uh, pathogenesis. So mentioned before, the PVC immunologic the features, uh, there are a lot of CD4, CD8 T cells, and the NK the infiltration. They're very interesting. The CD4 T cells, that's a more frequent found in the inflamed portal tracts, but CD8 T cells, they are more dominant in the area of the uh, bile duct. So, there's what different function in the PBC? We also, the, our the previous experiment, we found the NK cells decrease in the patient liver. So that's due to, because we very hard to get liver the samples by biopsy. So the, our laboratory, I worked in the before almost 10 years in the UC Davis, we established a lot of the PVC model. So today, I want to introduce one of the PVC model that's the human dominant negative receptor receptor 2 insert into the CD4. So from here, very clearly, his histology, we can find there are a lot of the uh, information around the portal tract, also there are the damage for the uh, portal tract. Much more important there, most of the myocera, we can detect high levels of the AMA. So, we summarize here, uh, the, this mice, there's a female predominant, and uh, they have the bile duct damage, that's the AMA almost 100%, and the very high IgA, IgG. So, what we did, so I mentioned before, our the scientific question, why? CD4 and CD8 T cell, the different infiltration. To address this question, we utilize this mice. We can use the, the transfer or knockout method. We found and confirmed CD8 T cells that's much more effective. The lymphocytes can damage bile ducts. Also, we found there have the some 
subpopulation B cells can prohibit CDA T cells function. We also found if CD20 antibody treatment early stage can delay PBC disease, but in the late stage, there's not effect. We also found I12 the cytokine is very, very important for this disease. So also we found that the NKT cells in the very early stage can produce interfering gamma damage the liver. So right now it's very, very known. So bad gene and environment, the first uh, start from innate immune response, and finally they have adopted the immune response there. But still there are uh, a lot of questions. What is a much more detailed mechanism? So today, I will introduce you here most, most our recent study in the NK cells. So here is, here is our the 2006, we published a paper in the patient, the NK cells. Uh, I also know that the Dr. Shimoda did a lot of work for the NK study in the PBC. So we found the peripheral NK cell increased the curing activity. Also can see here in the PBC, the liver, we can detect a lot of NK cells. Here also, on the PBC, we can find a lot uh, CD56 positive NK cells. This is the Shimoda, Dr. Shimoda's work uh, published in the, uh, 2015. They're also the very similar uh, in the P uh, PBC patient. The NK cell, that was some the uh, functional different than the control. If so that, What's happened in our animal model? So to address this question, we first we now cut NK cells. From this slide, we very clear, clearly we found the NK cell in the mice, in the liver. Increase first and the six, eight weeks that peak and the, the come down. We found the NK cells they are very significant negative correlation with liver lymphocytes and CD4 T cells, but not CD8 T cells. So what's happening in the liver? From here, after knockout, NK cells, the liver inflammation go to worse, include the portal inflammation, also the bile duct damage, also, the inflammatory cytokines include interfering gamma, RCX, T, alpha, that's increased. Also, the AMA of the knockout NK cells has in increased. So, detailed analysis that after NK knockout, very clearly we found in the liver only CD4 T cells increase, but not CD8 T cells. So much more because in the animal, no count, uh, maybe there are some uh, from the fetal, there's some big changes. So to confirm our results, we transfer the model CD4, CD8 T cells, transfer into the reg one or NK deficient drug one. From here, we very clearly, very similar results to the NK knockout animal model. Also, we found on the transfer, there are much more uh, high portal inflammation and uh, bioduct damage. The, also, the CD4 T cells much more increased in the liver. Let's confirm, maybe in the liver NK cell, there have some inhibition function population there. So how about after disease, we delete NK cells? 
So we used anti-NK1.1, the antibody treatment, our model of the disease. From here, also very clear in the liver, they have much more information there. So, summary here, NK cell can inhibit liver inflammation. So, what is significant liver NK cell? Uh, this is the 2013 published in the GCI work. From here, they are very clearly only in the liver. They have the resident NK cells, uh, the DX5 negative and NK1.1 positive, but not in the spleen, blood, bone marrow, and the lymph node. So how about in the human? Even different marker, but still in the human, we can find liver resident NK cell there. Something like uh, CD56 bright, and uh, also express CD69, also express CD16. So this paper in published in the, this year this, uh, from the same group, they found that the, in the viral infection, the liver red NK cells can control the antiviral activity, go through the PD-1 and PD-L1 pathway. So, what kind of role of the liver raised NK cell in the, uh, our the, uh, animal model? So from here, also very clearly, in the, our animal model, there have the 13.6% uh, age, the liver resident, resident cell there. Also, they're very clearly negative, the correlation, liver raised NK cell with uh, the liver uh, lymphocytes, especially they have the very high negative correlation with CD8. I didn't show in here, there are no any correlation with the CD8 T cells. So that's much more important to what the, the uh, localization. So confocal data So us from here, we can find liver resident NK cell co-localization with the CD4 T cells, but not circulating NK cells. So we also did in vitro the function test. So in here, we can find the DX5 negative liver resident NK cells co-culture with CD4 T cells can inhibit CD4 T cell proliferation but not to the CD80 cells. We also did circulating NK cell. There are no that the inhibition function. So we also found in the inflammatory the environment, that's mean in the model liver raised NK cells, there are huge difference the gene expression compared to the normal mice. Especially, there are much more the enrichment of the negative regulation, the genes. So, somewhere in here, uh, we found there have the liver resident NK cells that are completely different than the circulating NK cells can inhibit CD4 T cells. And uh, they have the immunosuppressive function of the liver rate NK cell in, is enhanced in the inflammatory environment. So summary here from the our animal study. Right now what we know CD8 T cells, they are much more effective cells, damage epithelial cells. Also they have the uh, regulatory B cells. Also we found I-12 cytokines, very important. In this study, we found there have the one liver, the specific rate NK cell can inhibit CD4 T cells. But 
Somewhere in here, we, also, we did a lot of work. We also found the microbiome very important in the uh, PBC-like disease in the animal model. So, last slide. So, what think deeply. So, what is our limit? So, because in the Im immune cell, there are a lot of a lot subpopulation there, different function. That's very, very complicated. So, my lab to right, right now just started the single cell sequencing, the so mentioned here. Also, what difference between the mouse and the human? The, this is our the uh, unpublished data very clearly. In the mouse, we found the three subpopulation NK cells, but in the human, there are four subpopulation. So we will go back to the patient samples, continue the uh, test, the uh, include NK, also macrophage, the a lot of the emphasis, the function in the PBC pathogenesis. So finally, I would like to thank my all students, also thanks my the former mentor, Dr. Gershwin. Also, I want to thank Tsunayama Koichi, uh, and thanks everyone, thanks. Well, that was certainly a very interesting, interesting discussion, interesting paper. Do we have any questions from the floor? Yes, please. Thank you for your <coughs> attractive data. And I'm Shin Shimoda from Japan, and I have uh, one question. Uh, because uh, we speculate NK cells destroy BIFTL cells. The, my question is, maybe NK cells regulate acquired immunity, like a Leostat. I, I agree with you. But when using NK 1.1 antibody in the beginning of the pathology, what happened? Or well, in the end of the disease, NK 1.1 deletion, what happened? Have you ever Evaluated? Uh, the, the due to the time limitation, I did uh, not detail clarify that. That's the, after the disease, this model from the eight weeks start, you know, the disease. We, the start point in the eight weeks. That means the early stage we delete NK cell. Of course, include circulating and the liver region NK cells. The, the inf uh, information go to worse. But we didn't know the late stage. We didn't do that. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. Kanto from Japan. Uh, are these uh, liver resident NK cells the same as the IRC1 in the lymphoid cells? Uh, because we have, uh, we know now very complicated subsets yeah. with NK cell subsets. IRC1 uh, might be including and very similar uh, with NK cells. Yes, someone list the, the, the liver resident NK cell called them the IRC1, but not so clearly. Yeah, it's special in the human, so that we don't know. Yeah. Okay, so the next question uh, Why are these liver resident NK cells aiming at only CD4 T cells, but not CD8 T cells? Is that because that in your model, uh, CD4 T cells are predominant compared to the CD8 T cells? The, from our results, that's the the uh, final damage the uh, epithelial cells, the CD8 T cells, but we we think CD4 also very important function. That's it, the the you know the uh, CD4 T cell help to the B cells the secreting the uh, autoantibody. From our results, after NK knockout, even delete, that's the AM may go up. But so there were that's very complicated the issue. We don't know what kind of function AMA in the PVC, the pathogenesis, there's still a big question there. So we don't know. Yeah. Okay. So in your presentation, you showed one paper that the liver and case cell can suppress the CDA T cell via pd one and pd one exodus, right? pd one. Oh, and that's the- One paper. Oh, that's the, uh, this year, immunity paper. Yeah, right. So, yeah. so my question is, the, uh, then in your study, have you looked at the PD-1 expression in CD4 T cell from PBC mouse or human patient? 
The way D the, the the same study we not put into the, the paper, we found the PD1 and the PDR1 very high expressed. But that's very, very hard work. You need a sorting out, maybe need a cure, maybe 300 mice. So we didn't do that. Maybe that's PD1, PDR1 very important, you know, the molecular pathway. Yeah. If I could ask a question. Do you have any information on the half-life of the different NK populations in the liver? Oh, that's a great question. But till we didn't do that. That's maybe a very important issue, yeah. Has anyone studied that in no. humans? Human, no. Only the someone did, also we did in the normal liver, that's the, the phenotype, but we didn't do right. any some different, you know, the aging. So yeah, it would be, yeah, it'd be very interesting to find out what happens when the T cells get activated, when breach yeah. of immune tolerance, takes place, yes, yeah. and it's it altered during active inflammation. Yeah, we just started, you know, the uh, single cell the sequencing for the, for the PPC patients. Maybe this we can right. uh, get some the data. Okay, well, thank you for the excellent uh, paper. Thanks again, yeah.